you can't fake New York. Uh, Montreal, Toronto, I don't care where you go. New York is the, is the best backdrop in the world, bar none. The excitement of the streets in New York is wonderful. New York is a more iconic landscape to evacuate. Los Angeles looks empty almost any time. Um, and certainly at 2 in the morning uh, or 5.30 in the afternoon in the right spot, um, you can get an abandoned city. Never New York. New York is never quiet and never still. Uh, as such, it is an extraordinary place to show a different version of reality, a world where there are less or no people. Folks, come on over here, folks, please. Thank you. First of all, you need between production assistance and, and traffic police and traffic and forces, we had about 500 people just holding pedestrians from walking, holding cars from going. We had to age all the cars on the street. We had to put grass in the street. And it was very, very difficult. We had to start Saturday nights and start filming very early on Sunday mornings. It's really cool, because like, how many times have you walked in the middle of the streets of New York, which totally empty, it's like garbage around the floor, but it's actually funny because it's supposed to look abandoned. But like during the scenes, um, the PAs are trying to like, hold back like thousands of people screaming for Will and all these fans. It was quite crazy actually to shoot walking in the middle of Fifth Avenue. Uh, it was quite amazing for me. It was what? Like we're closing Fifth Avenue? Here we go. Ready and action. Are you good? It's what's giving the intensity for the movie because it's that look of no one around and so bizarre. I think it's gonna give the audience the wow. Like, I think it, it brings the feeling that, that those characters feel in that moment of this is a possible world of no one around and no life. They died. The dark seekers got them. I love that scene. I think it's the moment that she faces it. Maybe it didn't happen. And one of the things that I spoke to Francis is that St. Patrick's Cathedral for Anna is Taj Mahal. It's pure wonder, pure dream. Stories that she heard and heard and heard and through that feeling she created the hope inside her. So being there in that moment, in the first take for me, was really like, wow, I cried so much, like in the first take. And Francis came to me, it's like, the first take. Because I think I was so, for so long in her body and in her mind and just waiting for that scene and that created the character expectation for more, like for over two years in that boat to get in that place that when I got there, and it's such a beautiful cathedral, it's so big and so special, and it's in Fifth Avenue, and it's that I just started to cry. And I think that that's why it's so special, because it's a moment of pure wonder, but at the same time, pure reality. Are right, you guys now all the seats. If you can do that, that's what I told her. I was like, now that's concentration right there. <laughs> That's real concentration. We were a little surprised we got permission from St. Patrick's Cathedral. Um, I think they responded to something in the script. There's a, a religious uh, subtext to the story, and I think that struck a chord with them. Uh, they normally do, do not allow filming at St. Patrick's Cathedral. And it was quite an experience. You know, we did it on a Sunday, and uh, there was a lot of tourists around. And the amazing thing was, was everybody was quiet as we would roll. And this pretty incredible thing happened where we were shooting and I would get caught up and I'm watching the monitor and watching the take and it goes on and on and on and on and on and all you can see is empty Fifth Avenue and Will and Elise and Charlie walking along and walking along and it pans them off and up to St. Patrick's Church and everything's empty and quiet. And as soon as we yell cut, I just heard this roar of applause. Then I turned around and there was thousands of people lined up just below where our monitors were on the opposite side of Fifth Avenue from St. Patrick's, all just waiting quietly. Nobody took pictures, nobody made a sound. 
It was incredible. Fortunately, I only had to worry about the performance and the Akiva and JL had to worry about the actual production of <laughs> going to the city and Mayor Bloomberg and trying to, to figure out how to actually make it happen. But it's visually stunning and arresting and it just sells an idea of the classic human struggle with faith and science and, you know, five sensory perception versus six sensory perception. And I think that we do, hopefully, a pretty good job of covering the bases and, and taking the audience to uh, spiritual questions, but hopefully a, a uh, catharsis at the end.